Hello Collective, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate them all. Let's take them. Let's get a message for you guys. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so the messages may or may not resonate with you. Take the messages that resonate with you, your personal situations, and leave the rest. Okay. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week so far. Let's see what you need to know. What you need to be aware of. It's not overall energy. The fool and the lovers. Okay. Somebody could be you making a choice to take a leap of faith to, into a new direction. Maybe somebody's going to a new relationship. Okay. Somebody also could be just taking a leap of faith. They're making a choice here to go for what they love, to do what they love. I know this is the lover's card, but somebody could be actually uh, currently like focusing on doing things that they love to do. Uh, somebody also feel like they're a fool in love. <laughs> okay, whoever that is. Mm, wow. <clears throat> Taking a leap of faith with somebody could have put somebody in a bad position. They could have went to a uh, long road in prison. Maybe they feel like the choice they made in life um, could have put them on the wrong path. This could be somebody's lover, or this is a situation where somebody chose the wrong lover. Okay. What's the fool? <clears throat> oh, illness. Wow. And thief. Illness and thief and gift. A thief is in their thoughts. They could be expecting a child. A child in a house to win money. Wow. Somebody could be uh, lovesick right now. Maybe somebody feel like somebody take, took something from them. We got the fool and illness. And we got the gift. Oh, man. Gift and lover and sorrow may know. Mm. Somebody definitely may not be feeling well. Somebody could be depressed as well. Like about the leap of faith they took with a lover. Maybe them and their lover chose to take a leap of faith into the wrong direction. Maybe them and the lover chose to uh, take a leap of faith. Maybe they get some sort of support or, or charity. Maybe they did it... Um, Selfishly is what I'm hearing. Somebody did something that was selfish. They felt like they brought uh, a situation. Um, mm, mm, mm. This person, y'all, for real. Whoever I'm picking up on, y'all, this person really is in like, uh, I want to say a mental prison. About a choice they made because this choice really put them in a bad way. Somebody else might be finding out that they could have some sort of ailment. Somebody did something to get a windfall and now they're not feeling well. Maybe they're sick. What the hell? 
somebody could have went after finances with somebody. <sighs> These people energy is very heavy. Yeah, somebody being haunted. Like somebody is they not okay. Like I don't know if, if this person like this is like even giving giving me the energy of instant karma. Like this person could have took a leap of faith to do something and then they get a call and find out something like then they are blaming the leap of faith that they took. Maybe to steal something from somebody or whatever is the reason why somebody could be sick or the reason why something bad is happening now for them. So somebody could be reflecting about something right now. What's this about? This crazy. Okay. Privilege. Wise guy. Yep. Absent. They could have created a scenario. This snake is giving a snake energy. Whoever this is, they could have created some sort of mess for themselves. This is like when you fuck over the wrong person energy. Yeah. Somebody knows that you could be, it was nice. You're a very nice person or something. They could have, this is even given like, Somebody um, saying they're selling you something and you never receive your your uh, products in the mail and shit. <laughs> it's like this person feel like they messed over the wrong person, but them and their partner might do this. You know, they may mess over people. You know what I mean? Now somebody could be depressed because they took this leap of faith and it's backfiring on them. Disconnect. Leader. Leadership, yes or no. Laborer. No more. service survival mm. <laughs> excuse me guys Whoever this person is, the reasons they did whatever they did it had a lot to do with a, your a position, some sort of accolades or something like that with the spiritual throne. What was driving somebody is the spiritual throne. Somebody could be feeling, may have disconnected from someone here or is being disconnected from this person. <clears throat> or there's a need for someone to reconsider their alliances and make new ones. <clears throat> that role model. Somebody did something for clout. They could have tried to sabotage somebody for clout. What's the <clears throat> excuse me, spiritual throne? Holy Spirit, what is this? Stalker. Somebody that stalk is, is that was stalking you feels trapped. They feel like there's no way to improve a circumstance when it comes to some sort of 
work situation in their seventh house because somebody could have been an enemy or maybe they worked with their partner like maybe they have a business together or something and they stressed out maybe it has something to do with their spiritual throne they feel trapped They feel like it's no way to improve a situation because you loving on yourself and they want to be more than friends. Somebody that wanted to be more than friends wanted to knock a role model down to size. And they feel like they were very irresponsible for being a spiritual hater just because, you know, they couldn't be with you or something like that. So maybe the divine is disconnecting somebody because this person could have been stalking you while you've been on your spiritual throne and they feel like they can't change you being on this spiritual throne because you loving on yourself the way you loving on yourself. And it's like they wanted to be more than friends, but you know, this person could have been even like they trying to destroy you. They tried to destroy you. This is weird. Driver. So this person could have worked with a lover or, uh, yeah, to do something stupid and they feel like they shouldn't have did it. It's a driver. <clears throat> for the clout, ignored. So somebody did it for the clout. Doing it for all the for the likes, doing it all for the fame, for attention. Somebody could be being ignored. This person is off the grid because the truth came out. Somebody, what was driving? Okay, so the person that could have leadership. Okay, this could have been the leader. What was driving somebody? They was telling somebody that you somebody was doing something for the clout, but they could have found out the truth. Why they can't knock you off your spiritual throne is because you really really healed or you really loved yourself so they feel like there's no way to improve because somebody could have really been trying to tear you down or something they were happy to do it or something but your ancestors is definitely happy to disconnect this person from your energy because you know they had um ill intent so somebody could be ignoring this person that's off the grid Exactly, because their vibration low as fuck. Exactly. Uh, Ex-lover. Child. <sighs> so somebody is ignoring this ex-lover now. Because somebody knows you're not doing something for the likes or for the fame or any of that. Somebody could have told them, oh, the only reason why they doing it is for this. Somebody like, no. That's why somebody ignoring this person. This person is so vibrational. An ex-lover. A low vibrational ex-lover. Maybe they was the lead of some bullshit. Yep. Because this person could be a finesse or moocha. Look. Off of an earth angel. This person wanted to finesse you and, and they had a hidden agenda. Alright. They want to be more than friends here. Their best friend already know why this person is trying to be in your energy now. Because they trying to mooch off of you. Hmm. I guess or no. Fake, yeah, wow. Fake friends, salty, mad, and upset. Maybe their friends is talking about them. They could ask them questions or something about something. And maybe their friends is, you know, knowing that this person is just mad and salty and upset about something here. Because they getting karma. They mad because they're getting karma right now. And you getting good karma. This fake friend know that this person is, they know this person is up, up shit screwed without a pedal because they was trying to finesse and, 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 and mooch off of an earth angel after throwing you under the bus or some bullshit. And people could be looking at this distorted mess than that because they getting karma right now. So they could be sick, you know, that leap of faith they took made them sick. Your ancestor guy could have, you know. Put them in a place, you know. 
They could be depressed as well, like emotionally. What's this karma? Big friend. And karma. This person definitely getting some karma, guys. Said, yep. Acting a fool. Fool. Someone who knows that they are being childish and goofy, but doesn't care when the situation calls for maturity. Yep, they being acting a damn fool because you're a role model or you're very inspirational to people. Okay, and they could have been very irresponsible with trying to knock you down to size because they want you and they can't be with you. It's like this person, you know, know what, where you was at spiritually. Like, right? So, okay, so I see why the spiritual throne came out, okay? So, God, like, listen, this person knew where you was at spiritually, okay? They knew you was on your spiritual throne, so I don't know why they came over here with the bullshit. So, if this person, it is Mercury retrograde still, and if this one, if this is the energy that came into your energy um, at any time, all right, um... <clears throat> God may be disconnecting you from this person, okay? For good reason. Yeah. It's like they're mad at your confidence and your leadership skills collective. No matter if you lead in a, a large crowd or it's just five or ten people, you know? Um, it's like somebody don't like because they don't have that. You, They're intimidated by your... I don't even know how to call it. Um, what's, What is it? Just your energy. I, I, I don't even know what, the, what else to call it. Somebody is extremely intimidated by your confidence, your leadership skills, your ability to anchor something in. Okay, for some of y'all, congratulations. Um, giving you your flowers. You could have just started something new. Okay, and it's going very well for you. Like, somebody can't take it because it's like they can't, they try to start something and it's not getting off the ground because their focus is material. Their focus is not really to, you know, do what they love. It's like, oh, I'm doing this because money is involved. Like that. Like, somebody is like that. And we got false twin. So they could have said, yeah, look at this. This person couldn't stay away from bad habits. This false twin energy. They're disconnecting you from a false twin earth angel because this person has a lot of toxic ways. Okay. And this person could also, yeah, your energy is too pure to be around certain people. I don't care if these are family members, ex-lovers. Uh, friends, it's like your energy is too pure and, and, and God, like, I'm not letting this person muck up your energy with their sickness because this person could be, have this eases. Of course, if this person is this type of energy, like, uh, don't care who they step on energy. That's what I'm seeing. I'm pulling up some cards. This person don't care who they step on. So they're disconnecting you from a false twin earth angel. Yeah, one social group, social life, whoever this is, 11th house, Leo energy. Um, walking away, you, yeah, walking away from this person, no money, no talk. Like, this person could have been doing it, child. So, it's a moocha. So it's like you can't get conversation from this person or the only time they hit you up is when they need something. Like, mm -mm. false twin. This person may think they are twin. <laughs> How? <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. That's false twin. Look at this. This false twin, so disconnecting you from a false twin, they are stressed. This person could have been spreading lies. 
All right, they could have been spreading rumors about you going around about you or a situation and they stress now. People may, yeah, wow, look at, yeah, look at that. That's so wild. Ugh. So they had their whole hidden agenda. Look at this. This is fucked up. Like this person, yeah, fuck this person, y'all. This person, whole hidden agenda, they was they would drain you for everything that you got. Somebody is stressed because someone is crying now. Energy drainer. They mad and upset because they did witchcraft on, on you. They had a hidden agenda. That was their hidden agenda, Earth Angel. They wanted to drain your energy. All right? So if you feel fatigue, if you feel, you know, blah, you know, it could be this person's energy. It's like taking a piece of yours to heal they they sickness or something like that. They're dis ease. This person, yep. Privilege. Irresponsible, lacking accountability, careless of the consequences of their actions. You can't rely on them. Mm hmm. This spiritual hater. But they could feel entitled and they're irresponsible. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, you, they don't like what you're saying here, thinking of, thinking of you. Somebody might not like that that's how you, you know this person is irresponsible. They can always think about you. You don't be thinking about them or something. Irresponsible. Privilege. This person feels entitled. Oh, yeah, they could be hooked on you. Yeah. Role model, they keep getting readings on you or something like that. This person could be like literally sick right now. But they fake friends see. They getting some karma for what they did to you. They see that for sure. I said you're gonna you could have just been for some of y'all you could have just helped somebody you wanted to help somebody or whatever you did the right thing you're gonna be okay but this person is like being surgically removed from your energy because that was very foolish for this person to take a leap of faith when they knew their intentions was wrong and they knew you was sitting on your spiritual throne loving on yourself <sighs> This person could be either using communication to do this spell work. I kept, I, that's what I was hearing when I sat down. Happiness in our hearts and home. So you're going to be okay, collective. The one, communication. So air, energy. You could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or they can be. Take it as a resonate. Wow. So, huh. You have stability. Energy vampire. They could have been trying to hex you. Hex your stability. Or that's what they did to themselves. That's why they could be depressed. Energy vampire here look at this emotionally intelligent remembrance misfit yeah this person is like a misfit here they did some mischief in play in the underworld Stider connectivity to connect to your blind spot 
and they could have met your spirit guides. <laughs> All right, when they did that. So they tried to do something. They Okay, and I don't feel like it's a blind spot. For for some of y'all, I feel like you are completely understanding that this person is, you know this person want to use you, right? They could be sending you projections like, oh, um, something could be about money. Okay, this person might want you to give them some money or something like that. Like, so, and then you come to them like, you know what? I think, you know... Uh, I think I should give you this because I know you're going through a hard time and, you know, I'm going to just, you know, whenever you need it, I'm going to just constantly send you money to your, your, your bank account just so that you can have it because I know you're going through something. Like, this person could be trying to project energy so that you can think like that, but you need to understand whoever this person is, they need to stand up for their own two feet. They need to get on their own two feet. I don't give a shit what they going through. We are all adults out here and it's not your responsibility. I don't care if this is a family member, a friend, a uh, ex-lover, whoever the hell this is. I don't care. They need to take responsibility for themselves. It's not your responsibility. The life, every life, the life that they chose, that's what the fuck they chose. Okay. They had a chance to maybe make a different decision, but this person is lazy. I feel like this person is lazy as fuck. You don't enable this lazy motherfucker. Okay. Whatever this person has done, they could have hexed their own fucking stability. That's why they sick and depressed that they took this leap of faith to try to hex your stability. They could even try to hex you and that shit backfired on them. Now they stressed and crying and shit because the universe has disconnected them from your energy field. Or even being able to connect to you, even if you are right there in this person's face. They can't steal from you. So it's not thrill. It's not a thrill. This it's not like a. Uh, you probably would see the difference in this person. Maybe, um, if you did give this person something, they were like, "Great, it's going to work," and then boom, the universe disconnected you. They tried to do it again, and boom, now they hex. They hex themselves. They curse themselves, basically. Because your intention, see, that's what these people need to understand. Intentions is of everything. If you intentionally are trying to do something to somebody that is actually being genuine, you they trying to give you a leg up or something like that, then of course you're going to get your ass whooped. That's stupid. And then, like I said, you sitting here, the spiritual throne came out. You sitting on your spiritual throne. And they can't do shit about it. They've been stalking you to see if they could. You can't, they can't stop you from loving you. They can't stop you from having something. What is this person's problem? Just like they made a choice not to love themselves and be a misfit energy, you made a choice to love yourself. It's a choice. And this person may have had some false sense that they had control over your choices. And when they did this, trying to hex you, it backfired on them. I heard they did it quick, too. They tried to hurry up and do it. Because they felt like, and now if somebody is somber, they don't, they like, oh, all right. Like, <laughs> they know it didn't work. Somebody is somber now. Mm -mm -mm. So you might even see this person attitude change now. Maybe this person gonna be more distant or whatever. Because they know this shit backfired. Yep, something went cold. I can't wow. <sighs> the sacred pause. We got the winner in control. Zombie. This person wanted control here. In the winter of you or in the winter time or they wanted control or something this person they tried to have control over something they've been stopped because they hexed their stability here for the winter or something like that or this person just hexed their stability all right something went cold when this person like this person tripping and they know it 
yeah, that something has been contained. Whatever energy they put out, I feel like they know that that shit came back to them. Yep, yep. Can't make it up because you're you're protected. You were cloaked, divine feminine, and you will have happiness in your heart and home. Something is being grounded here due to the rules of something here in the springtime cleaning. It got cleared away. Damn. It's cleansed. Your your energy is clear, okay? There was some sort of renewal due to some sort of contract that you had this spring. The energy is going to be clear for you. Uh, they, they banished something or something like that. Autumn and winter. They got to respect that. Like, yeah. Because the intentions that's set on your life right now has everything to do with you. So, um... If they was thinking that by the winter time they would have some sort of control, absolutely not. Because you just seen the fall and winter, is you're safe. Anybody trying to send you any type of negative energy, you're safe. Or they could have been doing this in the fall or the winter time. They could have been doing this since then. They know that some energy has been stopped because you are protected. You are cloaked. You're you're going to be survived. You're going to survive here because, like I said, whoever you were doing this or helping. You was just being a service and this person stabbed you in the back. That's crazy. Talk about, that's why some people don't be wanting to help people because of people like this. Yeah, this is an opportunist. Like that's why people don't be wanting to help people. Following as opportunists. Now look at them. Sick about it. Because they done fucked up because you in control. Maybe something froze on their end. Something froze on their end. They could have been doing this, like I said, with a lover. They feel stupid now for taking that leap of faith to do this with this lover. Is somebody sick now for trying to hex you? Try look. Wow. Look at this. Yep, them and this stupid, their stupid lover. Envy. They did it out of envy here. This person is a spiritual thief. This is stupid, y'all. Bitter guy. This spiritual thief is a bitter person having a nervous breakdown due to their financial stress. It's like this person keep putting themselves in a deeper hole every day. We got a trial of sexual favors. For items or money, envy. They jealous or envious of your success. This trial up. This person that gotta do stuff for ill everything. It's a guy too, y'all. Some of y'all is a female, but some nope. I knew it. It's a guy. <laughs> this is a man that was doing this shit. They are out of time. Too little, too late. Yeah. Because this person is a straight up liar. You can't believe anything they say. They just want a handout. And they're miserable. This is a miserable person. Wake up to project their misery on someone else. A gold digger. Values money over love. Rotten. This person is a rotten person. And they're miserable. And they thought they was going to be able to get away with something. You being nice to somebody. No dirty fucker. This person is jealous of you and they're miserable. They don't have happiness in their heart or home. Any more. Okay. I said anymore, yeah. They get and serve some karma. Because they should have stayed on over there. They fake friend or whatever know that. They was playing mind games with somebody. It's like somebody could even watch them, a male detective, try to play mind games with you. To get some money. They could have got, got some money out of you. Or now they're going to have to pay a lot of money to cleanse their energy. Or something like that. Yeah, because somebody hid the fact how obsessed somebody was about you. They can be obsessed with your money. What the fuck? What's wrong with this person? Like, somebody wants you to, like, come to some sort of agreement where as though 
Like, I swear. Whereas though they get a constant flow of stream of income with you. Like, so if you're feeling the energy, y'all, hear me out. Because I know y'all got some good hearts. Okay? And I feel like this is what this person is using your kindness over, like as weakness. Okay? As a weakness or something. This person is projecting to, for you to give to them constantly. Like, if you feel the urge to give to this person, like, you know what? Since I know they fucked up. I'm going to just, like, give them $500 a week because they really need whatever, you know? You know? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that for them because they, you know, I, I feel like, you know, I got it. I can help them. Whatever, right? <laughs> like, so I guess that's a random number. But, like, something like that. If you start feeling that urge, banish that shit right, right away, okay? Because they want you to finance their stability, Okay, and it's a no. They not getting shit. They need to get a fucking job. Okay, and I don't understand why people don't understand that, this type of stuff. But they need to get a job. He need he needs to take care of his own self. And I understand if you want to be nice to this person, it's good. Don't. No, don't be nice to somebody like that because they damn sure not nice to you. Okay. And I'm also I'm hearing cut it short. So if if whoever this person is, you gotta cut them short right now. That's what your ancestors are saying. Cut this person off. If you haven't already cut them off, but they did say disconnect. So this person might start fading to the black. Like <laughs> might start fading, you know, because they disconnected this person from your energy, from being able to even play in your energy. This person could have used to play in your energy a lot. All right. But that underworld shit, they could have played in your energy a lot in the past or something like that, collective. And they can't do it no more. So if they are trying to hex or curse you, this person is realizing they they curse themselves. That's probably why another reason why they depress. Because they don't have, they can't connect to you anymore. They can't use anything. If this is the kind of person that was using uh, fake love to connect to you, using... Uh, a friendship or a, a family situation to connect to you. Like, oh, we got kids. So we know we always connected. No, the fuck you're not. You know what I mean? Like this person weird, yo. So it's not, it's not. So they could have tried this and they, they realized that they are locked out your energy. So it's not, they can't get what they thought. And somebody could be sick about this. Literally. Cannot make it up. Your energy and your aura is too pure. This person tripping. The grass was only greener because it was fake. Exactly. Someone is addicted to your pure energy. They can't have... No. What else, spirit? This is a toxic ass situation. This person toxic as hell. So whatever this person was thinking they could do, it looks stupid. Okay. They know something came to an end in the beginning of the year. They could have got a reading done. All right. Behind the scenes. All right. Laugh a bit because this person behind the scenes know that something came to a complete end. So they could have got a reading done and found out they went the wrong way by because you already got the job or you already were moving forward. Yeah. You had already got your upgrade. If this person thought that they was coming to disturb something in your life, you had already got your upgrade. They couldn't take this. You was already 10 toes down in your upgrade. You know, you did the work and whatever energy projections they could have did could have got left behind in 2023, you know, because <laughs> in the beginning of the year, so you had got an upgrade. So now they're realizing the grass was only greener because it was fake. So it's like they know they're not going to be able to get nothing from you now. Like, somebody know that. They know that. And it's like a choice. This person made this choice. They chose the wherever, whatever way this person's life is going, they chose this out of spite. They deserve anything that they got going on. And then they getting karma on top of karma for playing with you. Like, they were in an illusion. Crazy. 
Mm hmm. That black magic ping right back to the ass. They was using black magic to get an upgrade. And the way God <laughs> is hovering over your whole entire life, they was stupid for even coming towards you on this type of energy, y'all. Like this person retarded for that. That was dumb. Okay. The way God is 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 <laughs> in every area of your life at this point in your life, that was dumb. They could have, you know, did that. Maybe they are used to going after people that are very religious and stuff. Some per people that are religious and stuff. They not, you know, they got dark sides too. They, they don't talk about before they go into these churches and stuff like that, you know. And maybe this person was getting away with it, you know, and they thought that, that would that's the key to their dark, you know, their their that's the key to something. Like uh that light energy is how they gonna get what they wanted, basically. Okay. Yeah, this person was being stubborn here. Astral projecting to your energy. And now they sick as a dog. Yep. Mm, mm, mm. They, information is leaving somebody shook. This person could be having an hour. They could have did like magic to have, uh, astral project to a performer. Now the information leaving somebody shook because their manifestation to be hexed or curse is within reach for them. They could be even shocked that you got this job, okay? Laugh a bit. Yep, toxic family dynamic behind the scenes. <laughs> they could have worked together. Now all of their lives are changing. Something is changing with this person. All right? The information leaving this person shook. Because they like, oh shit, like, uh, this shit backfire. They know something backfired. Third will enemy has been stopped. Yep, they got rejected. This, whatever they was doing, got rejected. So it's backfiring on them. And they shook right now. They're realizing that this black magic, the grass was only greener because it was fake. Your energy and your aura is too pure. Wow. And somebody could be all in their head or something could have came to a complete end. Somebody could feel of them trying to confine you or keep you trapped or binded to something. They could have tried to bind you or something like that, like as their personal feeder. Your manifestations are within reach. This person tripping. Look, this coach, because their coach is sick already. So the person that they was working with could have been a female, older woman. Um, whoever was coaching them to do this, this person is sick already. Ah. Oh. Their manifestations is within reach. Somebody could be sick. Yeah, they could have been coaching someone here. This somebody to coach or whoever this is awakening that about some blessings here or that uh, a soulmate connection here. Your soulmate could be aware of something and they're pissed about how you love it on yourself or it's because the reason why something backfired is because all this self-love that you're giving yourself. Okay. Yep. Now there's some sort of, they know that, okay, so the coach could be telling them that manifestations are within reach, but there was some conflict due to the origin of the of the thing that they did to get charity. So if they're telling this person, because like I said, their whole thing was to project the energy of, oh, you're going to, you're going to pay me a uh, hundred dollars a week, every week on the, on the dot. And then you're going to be like, you know what? I want to pay him $100 a week. I'm going to make sure I write that down. Every week, I'm going to pay him $100. Like, <laughs> some shit like that. All right. Whoever the coach is is telling them that there was some complications. The shit backfired. They're enlightened that there's some, It's a. It, it was some opposing energy. Whoever this magician is that was helping this person do this. 
they are telling this person that it was a, some sort of opposing energy. They shook because they didn't ever think, like, you know, it was only a illusion. What the fuck I tell you? So they, they up here trying to send projections to you. Oh, you're going to give me $100 a week. You're going to get this mother... Okay? I'm going to get that mother... Shit. Yeah. As soon as they tried this, they took this leap of faith here and they instantly ran into some sort of supernatural shit that gifted somebody some illness. The gift of sickness or... Somebody could have, if they, if they receive something from you already, they got sick. Yeah. That's another thing uh, that people need to realize. If you ask somebody that's spiritual, like, and somebody that's really on a spiritual throne, like for real, for real, um, and you try to take something from them, like say they gave to you and you try to do something to them, you don't get your ass whooped because, um, they doing it with pure intention and your intentions was impure. God already know the heart of the person you coming towards for the handout or for the charity. They know this person is going to do that. But your job on the flip, okay, is to make sure you got your, your intentions is pure. You know, you wasn't behind the scenes talking shit about this person. You wasn't behind the scenes trying to tear this person down before you came towards them to ask them for something. Once you do, you, once you do that and you get in the person energy and you ask them for something and you know you was behind the scenes doing something to try to hurt this person, it's instant karma. So that's the energy. I, I knew it. I felt that from the beginning of the reading. Somebody got instant karma. Instant soon as they got the handout because they God already knew what this person was doing behind the scenes you was just being you and God will never fault anybody for just being them a kind hearted loving individual that care about humanity that care about another God will never whoop your behind for that ever he understands but what he not going to do you understand what I'm saying? Is let somebody take advantage of you after all this healing you have done. You have made it to a certain point. And God is not going to allow that to happen. And this person is seeing it. Oh, yeah, they seeing it now. They should have never, never, never. Okay? Black magic. I cannot, y'all. This person is suffering. Darkness. Nightmares. They could have did something to cause that. Maybe nightmares or having you suffer from something. They would have received something. They're receiving their desires. They're suffering now. So their desire was for you to suffer. They're suffering. That's crazy. Black magic. That shit backfired so bad. Because you love yourself. Exactly. They like what? Like, how did, how this is not working? Because it's not. They're suffering. This is good news. And they ally could be telling them, like, they're shocked that it's because the way you loving on yourself. You, this self-love is, it's a strong vibration. Their allies has told them to save whatever money that they had already collected from you. Because now they're being binded. Out of their ego. So they're, whoever the ally is. So maybe that's the curse. If somebody come into your energy. They get binded. Okay. They get you know. Tossed up. Something bad happened to them. So whoever this is that's working with them. They telling them like no nah, man. Somebody shocked by this. Like magic. Because they suffering. Look, they shot like what? They self-love saved them? Yeah. Now they feel guilty and sorry for doing this. Look. And the vitality of you being chari charitable. Somebody definitely that was wearing a mask, they quit now. 
they're separating from this person because they're trapped. They don't want to be trapped with them. They out. I bet you with this person trying to call this person on the phone, they done blocked their ass. They don't want this karma with this person, whoever this is. That's on them. Now they realizing the grass was only greener because it was fake. <sighs> yep. Look. Pretending like they needed help or something. Fuck this person. That was a big risk for the playing y'all energy like this. Them and their enemy. They're having some sort of natural. They caused a natural disaster for being stubborn. They ain't going to be stubborn no damn more. Arrogant. This person was arrogant. Yeah. So somebody could be communicating to them why the energies, why something didn't work. Because they was trying to be an enemy to someone. Um, or they was distrustful. They lied. Third will. A third will could be telling somebody why they, why something didn't work. Why a ritual backfired. <sighs> they overindulged in it. They kept doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it. They realizing like they feel awkward now. Look at this shit. This person I feel awkward in the mug. Because they're overloaded and depressed at this point. They feel like they're gonna be homeless because of this shit. They're gonna be poor and casted away because of something that they did. So just imagine if this person really, you know, um need help. This is like the boy that cried wolf energy. They ain't gonna get no help from nowhere. Nobody okay but it's time though it's time for this individual to pay up because this person been doing a lot being malicious thinking that you was just gonna get away with something and like being malicious no absolutely not the devil look at this they mad as hell devil and the death this person toxic is all get out they could worship the devil this person could have some hidden diseases or something they need to talk about that's making them weaker and weaker. Mm. Yeah, this person has definitely lost their strength or something like that, y'all. Yeah, they not receiving something from a soul energy. Or they're not receiving something from you. Yeah, they cause a heavy imbalance. Their money is all over the place. Maybe they're really going through some financial stress right now. But they say they couldn't cope with the stress, so. Also, we seen the child, so somebody could be using a child to get, get this done or something like that. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, what is the message? Yeah, they not happy. There's a huge imbalance. There's some sort of chaos going on. Somebody feel overwhelmed right now. They feel like they should have avoided this. Oh, it's coming in. For a sword, somebody could vamp something is being laid to rest. Somebody is heartbroken here. Because their wish came true. Wow. The wish was for sickness or illness. Disease, depression, whatever. Homelessness. They're heartbroken that their wish came true. <laughs> oh my God. They like, fuck it. I gotta give up. Playing in the realms of the dark arts, I swear. This person did not think this thing. <laughs> and then what makes it even worse, whoever they was working with dipped on them. <laughs> they like, listen, you you got this. Look, I'm out. Okay? Now they feel sorry. They're like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. At least whoever the coach 
Well, it's, it's telling them like, hey, your manifestations is within reach, you know, but it ain't going to happen the way you thought it was. It's going to come. It, it's backfiring on you. All right. The magic didn't work on them. All right. I got to go. <laughs> so now they feel like this person was an enemy of theirs. Child. Now, this is somebody that like to play the victim, y'all. Because they got to pay a lot of money to cleanse the energy off of them now. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> don't you give this person a, a red scent. Because they could have been like, all right, well, can you cleanse the energy off me? Yeah, I can, but it costs, it's going to cost you. <laughs> and maybe they thought this person was their friend at first. No, they was your friend when the money was there. No money, no talk. Like, what are we talking about? They say that in the beginning. <laughs> what is their obstacle? What does this person get? I don't even feel sorry for this person, y'all. I don't. What's their obstacle? <laughs> we seen the tower. Did you see the tower? This shit backfired on them. This shit backfired so bad. It backfired on them. Somebody not surprised though, though. Like, why? Because they was lying anyway. They could have been arguing with this person on, on text messages, email. They're like, what you mean? It backfired on me. What's the outcome of this? This person weird. The outcome is the Queen of Pentacles telling this person. What they telling them? You know what? They confused. Why this person was so malicious to take this gamble? Because this is leaving them in the in poverty very quickly and they're not happy. Because you could be single, self-sufficient, and independent. And everything that they invested in is coming to an end because of the choice they made. So somebody, this Queen of Pentacles could be telling this person, like, look, I don't, you know, I do what I come to do. But I don't understand why you would be so malicious to somebody that's, that's genuinely nice or given or something. Like, so whoever this is that was doing the work for them, they don't feel bad either because they know that you are... Uh, you were already given to them. They could have already read your energy or something like that. And they know that this person only wanted a handout. This person was miserable. This person is a karmic male. Mind games backfired. And this person could have lied to them. So she's telling them right here with the Ace of Swords in the reverse is that they lied. They could be arguing because somebody got caught in a lie. Seven of Swords in the reverse. This isn't even giving that energy. Um, I had... Uh, Gave, gave a reading a couple, I think it's a couple a month back or something like that about a situation where uh, this could have been a child's father or something like that. They was getting a practitioner to work on you, talking about some you wouldn't um, compromise with them, and the whole time it was them. They wasn't trying to compromise with you because they wanted to. It's same. It's the same energy, but they could have tried something recently. This feel like the same person, y'all. Whoever y'all is in my collective, y'all watch me religiously. Thank you. But this is the same energy. I know this energy. I knew it that because from the beginning of it, I was like, why is this person energy so scattered? This this in particular person could have came around Mercury retrograde. Maybe you stopped dealing with this person. But they was telling a lot of lies to people that were like religious or just people. She read your energy and she found out you was very given to this person. And this person only wanted control over you over you so that they can have stability so that they don't, they don't have to work or something because this person is a low vibrational finesse mucha huh yeah the seekers got revealed so she wasn't confused okay whoever this is whatever seekers got revealed somebody that was doing the work the coach and they could be trying to argue with this person. Two of Pentacles in a child, two of Pentacles in a reverse. It's the same energy. Like this person could have somebody could have did a spell. Uh it's a strange to make somebody pay, take care of their responsibilities. And they found out that I don't know who how y'all connection is with this individual. You know what I'm saying? Like this, this I don't know. It is a toxic family dynamic, so I don't know how y'all connection is. 
with this person, but they was trying to make you force you to give to them when you were already given or something like that. Like this person um, is greedy. Okay. And they're lazy. And now this person is sick and they like, well, you know, what am I do now? This is crazy. And I, she like, I don't know what you going to do. It was a female that was helping this person. A female practitioner. I feel it. What's the two of pentacles in the reverse? Because he he lied to her real bad. Just so that he like, oh, I need, you know, I need help energy. Like she don't want to, she don't want to, you know, whatever. I don't know how. Maybe y'all divorced this person. All right. If this was an ex-lover, because it said an ex-lover or some sorts. Maybe y'all had got a divorce from this person. It was a nasty divorce or something. And this person been lying on you ever since. Or even if it was just a relationship y'all had with this person. And they've been lying on you ever since. Like this person is fucking horrible. And this is weird because whoever this is, they can't even go to this person. Got some nerve. Whoever this person is, if they have other children, they don't take care of the other kids at all. They don't get, they don't even give their child's mother a, a red cent. If they got other children by somebody else, they don't do shit for that child. And they got the nerve to try to mooch off of you and feel entitled. This person must got some mental issues. Like seriously. Wow. Yeah, this person, bum city. <laughs> this person, a fucking bum. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. All right, where, where do these people come from, y'all? <laughs> Two of Pentacles in the reverse. We got the Nine of Wands in the reverse here. This person has to give up their stubbornness, okay? Uh, they could be a Capricorn or a Sagittarius, could be significant. They're telling them that they got to give up. <clears throat> yeah, because they got blocked. Seven of Wands. Something got revealed. Somebody's defend. You're defending yourself. You, your stability is, is, is sturdy. You have protection. Seven of Wands. Yeah. And now they stuck. Hey, man. Because the action that they took closed out a cycle for this lazy. I look at it say it on the card. It say lazy. <laughs> like for this lazy motherfucker that's impulsive. Strong fire energy. Okay. You could be a fire sign or they could be. They could be heartbroken now that they're stuck in delayed because of the action that they took. What's the four swords? Something got laid to rest. So they heartbroken now because you defended yourself and they got to give up. Trying to cause imbalances for you. What's the four of swords? Look, I told you they feel like an idiot for doing this. Full card in the reverse. They was reckless as hell. They could be sick because they took this dumb ass leap of faith. Same thing. Fool in the damn four of swords. You might as well say that's the same thing. Fool in the four of swords. How it's coming into them. They is sick from this hex. They shouldn't have did this shit. Ace of Cups in the reverse. King of Wands in the reverse. Whew. This is a cold-hearted, gloomy, malicious, unloved. This person feel unloved, unemo like these two people. I don't know who the, the King of Wands in the reverse and the King of Cups in the reverse could be very heartbroken right now for taking this leap of faith. Or that's just the same person, energy. All right. They could be isolating themselves. They could be gossiping. Maybe a king of cups in the reverse is talking about this person. How that was a dumb plan. They should have thought of something else. All right. They could be really gossiping about this person. How heartbroken somebody is or how fucked up this king of wands is. Like, this is the fake friend that they got in their energy. That's immature and just as immature as them. They heartbroken because they really wish, you know, 
<clears throat> they would have known that they shouldn't have never did this or that when you walked away, something was, they was already disconnected or something like that. There's an extreme tower moment for this person. Their obstacle is this, this tower. What's the tower? Also, somebody can know that they can't bring a tower to you. Look at this. You already received something. Knight of, Knight of Cups. Yeah, that, that they are not happy. Because they thought that they could, you know, cause conflict. But you already, re if you receive something, like I said, a pay raise, upgrade, something, you know, that you were supposed to receive. Um, this person, the reason why they couldn't stop it or block it or take something from you. It's because you already got you already got the offer or something like that. Somebody also should is like thinking like I shouldn't have never tried to cause conflict. They are un, they're not happy because they can't heal from this conflict. They caused a conflict they can't heal from with the star in the reverse. <clears throat> Page of Cups in the reverse. This person is not happy. King of Pentacles. Wow, maybe they are they finding out you're going to be in a relationship with a King of Pentacles. I don't know why that matters to this person, but somebody uh not happy to find out about a King of Pentacles they worked with. Okay. I don't know. Damn, there's a lot of people involved here. Okay. This could be a couple that they worked with, the two of cups. They have a bad reputation now. Yeah. So with this couple, if this is people that was helping them anyway or was in this person life to help them or whatever, like I said, they could have made their um, like people see them for who they are. Like it's like mask off. Like. This person is being seen as a sick individual, like as a liar, as being lazy, all right, having no skill, a deadbeat, a dead end, and they working a dead end job. Like this person, Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, they have no skills, lack quality, bad reputation. And the truth is, the path that they chose, why they wanted to reconcile with someone was because of finances or something like that. And they could have spun a whole illusion to these people about a family situation. Who the Queen of Pentacles? So they could have worked closely with this couple. So, yeah. They're telling this person now that they got clarity, four of cups in the reverse, they know that they're not going to get victory and success. They got clarity of something. Whoever this is, they could be, like I said, uh, the person that was doing the work for them. Four of cups. Inverted. This is wild. Okay. Two of Swords. Wow. So this person, there could be an ego clash, it says, clashing of egos. So now this person, whoever this is, they're bored. They don't want nothing to do with this person because it's all this conflict now. Somebody could be avoiding them, right? Maybe this person is telling them they should have avoided conflict with you because they don't have no control over something. They got to let something go when it comes to being gener generous, openness. Like they, they have a lot of financial insecurity. This person was being reckless, y'all. If they try to put obstacles up, they see you move past all the obstacles. Yep, I can't make do what I say. Whoever she is, she walked away from the karmic. They tried to catfish you, but you knew it was them. She knew. See? Whoever she is, she walked away from the karmic. And something could have got physical. Physical or verbal altercation could have happened. Because this lady or whoever the practitioner was... Um, know that this person is a karmic and they're a liar. Mm, mm, mm. Fake friend. They knew this person wanted to be with you and they saw the and mad and upset. Because they only wanted money. 
I can't make it up. They only wanted money. They saw the mad and upset a Libra. Or they mad at you, Libra. Okay? Yeah, this person could be a part of a... This person could be a fire sign. Somebody could be a part of a secret organization or a coven or something like that. Secret society or some shit. They mad. Because they wanted you to come back around to them. Zaddy home let them know in the reverse that they was planning to rob you, though. Because they jealous of you. <sighs> we got a Scorpio. You was the one they about to lose you for good. Yep, divine bodyguard. So she avoided this person because you have a divine bodyguard and you in your new beginning. Ain't no way. They can't take nothing from you. This person that's an alcoholic. We got unfinished business in love with an earth sign. Maybe. No, I don't think that's right. Maybe you don't have no unfinished business with this person. They want to be you. They envy you. Especially if they are alcoholic. Return to center times 10. <clears throat> Yep, all them hexes, whatever hex they, they backfired on them. No. Yep. What else? Someone is about to get arrested because their phone is tapped. Your destiny is safe. The police is watching this person. Because, yes, they lied to you about everything. Throat chakra magic is backfiring. He walked away from the karmic. Damn. So, so was somebody trying to get you locked up or something? As well. But somebody, cop, a cop is watching somebody. We got an Aries in the winter. <sighs> somebody knew somebody was a star sea earth angel. Okay. Wow. Okay. So this couple, the man could have been a doctor, RN, CNA, or... Worked in the medical field. Somebody was a male practitioner. They were sent to block your path. Okay. On Tuesday. So Tuesday, somebody could have tried you. And they created a mess. Now they hope somebody can help them fix it. This man that has dreads or braids is a Hebrew Israelite. And they about to learn a hard lesson in the springtime. They, you don't know them. So you don't know the male practitioner or something like that. Or you don't know the person, but somebody that you know could have dreads or braids. That's a Hebrew Israelite. Or it's this person that was doing the work for them. They could have a resume. <clears throat> a neighbor has an unhealthy obsession with you. Okay, that card come out a lot. So was it a neighbor that tried to do this to you? Somebody you were supposed to? They feel like they can't expect positive changes because they're cursed now. You damn return to sender times 10. Again. It was his wife or girlfriend that was doing the spell work. Somebody could be a Muslim man or a woman. <sighs> they cannot believe they messed this up. This person could have a silver, gold, white, gray, or yellow car. Okay. They want to know what can, why can't they find somebody like you? A postal worker could have lost a job. Somebody wanted to spend, bring they spend the night big because they had their graveyard magic. So somebody needed to get close enough to you or something like that. <clears throat> Wow, this karmic cycle is over. I asked the fit, yeah. So somebody realizing somebody not their friend for real. Because they, they found out this person was a liar. This person might need to get a lawyer. Because they, they could have said somebody, uh, somebody might need a lawyer. Or somebody selling sex online. A Sagittarius. G-N-N-G. Sex addict. This person could be a sex addict. Ew, all evil eyes going Brian. <clears throat> I 
it was just sex, nothing more. That's why their life is all off balance. On Saturday, they could have did something on Saturday. Uh, Z. Nobody believe in this person lies no more. An uncle and a grandpa could be involved. These could be older gentlemen. Karmic male, Leo. They've been having dreams about you. What else? Root chakra magic based on them. Oh, for some of y'all, this is your child's father. Your child's father failed you and they sorry. They tried to hack your phone devices and got locked out. Root chakra magic back firing on them. New moon. <clears throat> they could have been riding past your house in the daytime or at night. A male practitioner for some of y'all. You're reading this, it's too late. Stalker alert. Somebody's sister on Wednesday was stalking you. Your sister. An Aquarius. One that somebody knew that somebody wanted you to take care of them. That's all. But you get new love because you're single. So somebody wanted you to take care of them. So that's what this whole thing was about. I hope this helped.